Well, happy Veterans Day, everyone. If you are a vet, if you have served or are serving our country, I just wanna say thank you. We appreciate you here at Sun Valley and God bless you. Well, we are continuing with our devotionals on in Psalms, and we're going to continue with Psalm 29 today. This is a psalm from David, and it is about praising God for how powerful he is. And so here is the new Sun Valley-ism that I've created just for this devotional. Are you ready? <laughs> Here it is. It's not that we don't understand that God is powerful, because we do. It's not that we don't understand that he's powerful. It's just that we can't fully comprehend how powerful he is. And do you know who comes close to comprehending that? I'll tell you who it isn't. It isn't a mature human who's been through the ringer of life it is a child children have a way of comprehending things and not getting stuck in the box that is life and so quick story my son when he was four we're in the car we are listening to worship music because i am a good godly father <laughs> no just this time this day we happen to be listening to worship music and we're listening to the song do it again by elevation worship and here are some of the lyrics it says i've seen you move come move the mountains and i believe i'll see you do it again and so my son, he is brilliant. He's not like his dad. He said, dad, how he do that? <laughs> how he move mountains. And he knew that he's talking, the song is talking about God moving mountains. And for a little kid, he's saying, he can just move mountains. It doesn't, how does this work? And I explained, I said, son, look, God made the mountains. God can do anything. God is strong and powerful and can do anything that he wants. And then I was going to go on to tell him that God loves us and cares for us, but he interrupted me. He wanted to know more. He said, is he stronger than you? And I said, well, dad, you know, dad's pretty strong. But yes, he's way stronger than me. And then he said, is he stronger than the Hulk? <laughs> and of course... I laughed and said, well, first of all, dad is probably stronger than the Hulk. But secondly, yeah, God is stronger than anything. He is, he can, he can and will do whatever he wants in this world. And, um, man, it just made me realize that kids, they believe what you tell them. So he didn't leave that conversation saying, oh yeah, God is strong, but he probably couldn't do X, Y, or Z. He left saying, you know what? My dad told me that God can do anything. So I'm going to take that as fact. And isn't it just amazing how kids can look at things through that type of a lens? And that's exactly what David's trying to tell us here in Psalm 29, that God is all powerful that we can't even comprehend all that he has done and can do and so here is how david ends the psalm i i just love it um, psalm 29 verse 10 the lord sits enthroned over the flood the lord is enthroned as king forever that's saying god is power and he is king over everything for all time. And then David goes right to the character of the all-powerful Lord. Verse 11, the Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. So he goes on and on and on about the power and praising God for the power his power but he ends with God's character 
What does he do with that power? He gives strength to his people and he blesses his people with peace. So my questions for you today are, how can we be more childlike with our faith? And do we believe that God can bless you with peace and can give you strength? Because if you were a child, you would believe that. Hey, let's pray. Lord, thank you for your word today. Thank you for being all powerful and yet all loving. Lord, we thank you for our veterans today. Talk about the ultimate sacrifice, the ability to have power and yet give and serve uh, to the ultimate degree. Lord, we love our veterans and we're so thankful for what they have done for us. Lord, thank you uh, for your word today. Thank you for this wisdom. Lord, we love you. Amen.